We're taking an in-depth look at your money this morning. We're focusing on the real estate market, and broker Chris Schilling joins us this morning. And, uh, Chris, we've been talking a lot, of course, about Wall Street and what is going on with the debt deal. Let's talk a little bit about how that's impacting the real estate market. Where are we today? Where's the market in Houston? Well, the good news is, is the interest rates are down. Uh, so they were 4.52 for a 30-year fixed mortgage. Mm -hmm. Now they're 4.37, mm. so a uh, little bit off right now, so that's good. But we are seeing a pretty good impact on this. You know, people are being more reluctant to make the buying decision. Uh, we're seeing more homes that are going for rentals instead of actually selling. So, so it has affected consumer confidence. Are builders still building? They have to. So, uh, so yes, the builders, in order to stay alive, they're like sharks. They have to swim to survive. And so the builders have to do construction uh, in order to, mm -hmm. you know, survive in this market. And so we're seeing some pretty good prices off, you know, discounts off of those uh, new construction homes. So buying a new construction home could be a good buy right oh, now. All right. And then what are some of the hottest areas that you're seeing in Houston right now? I tell you, the hottest areas that we have are like Memorial. Uh, right now they have 5.2 months of inventory, which is pretty good. Uh, your equilibrium is six months. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's a buyer's market. If it's greater than six months, it's a seller's market. If it's less than six months, so it's a seller's market from Memorial and inside the loop. So that's where we're seeing really hot buys right what now. What about areas that are moving slower? Uh, the areas that seem to be moving slower are east of Houston, so uh, towards the Ship Channel, San Jacinto. Those areas seem to be moving a little slower, uh, a little tougher to sell those. Let's say I want to buy a home today. Can I get a loan, Chris? Yes, uh, but it's going to you're going to have to jump through more hoops. The lenders are going to be a, a lot more uh, restrictive. They want to know more about you today than they've ever wanted to know before, and so they really want to have a, a much better projection on whether or not you are going to pay that loan off. What about the outlook for Houston? Uh, if I want to buy a home, is now the time, or should I wait a little bit longer? With interest rates this low, they're artificially low, so there's a there's going to be a point on the horizon where interest rates increase. And so buying a home right now is pretty good because you can still get a good deal. The other thing we're seeing in Texas, we were just talking about it, is that Texas has 50% of all the jobs that were created in the entire United States. So our economic outlook is pretty good. The rest of the country is a little tougher, but uh, Texas seems to be holding out. Uh, oil price is over $90 mm -hmm. a barrel, so we're doing pretty good. All right, Chris Schilling, Turbo Realty, thank you so much, sir. We appreciate it.